So this blank is a container that I use for overpours. So if I pour too much resin for a project, I put this in the pressure pot and pour whatever's left over on top of it. You can kind of see this is the walnut platter the, that I did a couple, well, a couple months ago now. Um, the red, the black, and the yellow that went with that. Um, and then you can see there's a little layer of purple there. Maybe that's green. I can't remember. There's a little bit of blue. There's a little pink, purple on the outside here, and some cool wispy blues on the bottom. It looks like a little bit of pink in the bottom as well. Um, you can see I had some bonding issues right here on the side. My guess is that's because some of the resin got down around the side of it, but we're going to see how this thing turns. Um, this is going to be, I'm going to attempt an egg of some shape or sphere or something. We'll see what it, how it goes. Um, first thing we got to do though, is find center, um, on the top. The bottom has a little dimple right there on the bottom, which is in the center of the, um, I call it my mold, but it's just a, a Ziploc container, freezer safe container. Um, so find the center on the top and we'll go to it. Get it mounted up between the centers and see what we can do. Yeah. Okay, I got my stub centers mounted both ends. Um, I think I want my egg out of this end because this is the more consistent coloring. Um, this is, and this is a little smaller. So I'll try and get my tenon on this end to hold it. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So we'll put that stab center in the center of that one. Break time. Okay, now that that's done, back to work in here. Get my safety gear on and we'll start spinning this thing around again.
Well, it's kind of a, a little bit of a messed up egg shape. I took a little bit too much out of here, I think. I didn't get it tapered off, get it rounded out quite as well. I probably should have. Um, I got to do some repairs on the pine cone. Zzz, there should be four of them in there. Um, you can kind of see how this ended up getting poured. There's a couple layers of green in there. Um, there's a little bit more green on that one there. I got a couple holes to fill there. Um, you can kind of see all the all the colors it wound up in. I got a little chip out right there, but I think that's a chip out because of the pine cone. Um, so I got a little bit of CA repair to do. I'll uh, make you watch a little bit of it, and then uh, I'll save you the hassles of watching the whole thing. Um, we'll be back in a second. So we're going to start off this re these repairs with thin. See if we can't get some stuff down into these things and go from there if we need to use medium to fill some bigger holes we will um but for now we'll just start with thin and start well that's kind of pretty that's gonna be cool looking We'll be back when I get going on the rest of the cleaning up. <laughs> All right, so I finished filling the pits with uh, medium CA, uh, same tight bond, um, except medium. Um, there's a couple little ones that I think we'll get when we put a put the finish on. Um, I did, I forgot to hit record when I scraped all the excess off, um, but I'm sure you can understand what that looked like. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to sanding right now, or not go back to, I'm gonna start sanding right now. Uh, we're gonna start at 120, I think, um, and then get it all sanded up. Uh, we'll see how far we go. I won't force you to watch that. All right, be back in a bit. I have had to resort to power sanding a little bit <clears throat> to try and get some of the CA off. Because uh, I had to re CA it again. Well, I should have started that way. All right, I'll be back when I'm all done with the sanding. All right, we're sanded at 320. Coming on with the denatured alcohol now. See what this thing's gonna look like. Cleans up pretty nice. Now we're gonna try for a CA finish on it. Um, see if we can get it to, to go on smooth or pretty close. And go from there. We'll be back when we start putting the CA on. All right, here we go with the CA finish. Lathe to 300 ish. Tight bond thin. Paper towel. All right, we're going to go for four or five coats of that and see what she looks like when we're done. We'll be back when we're all set. All right, now that the CA's on and dry, we're gonna smooth it all out with Axe Abrasive Paste.
Usually I follow up with the polish restoring paste immediately after the, the uh, abrasive paste. But recently Tom did a video um, and showed putting a friction polish on first before using the restoring polish. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to put Dr. Woodshop's Pen Plus, Pens Plus, to friction polish on this first. That's one coat of friction polish. We're going to do three or four just to just to make sure it's good and shiny. We'll be back when I get done. All right, so the finish is pretty much on there. You know, I haven't done the axe abrasive or the axe polishing restoring paste yet. I think I'm going to do that after it's all done. <clears throat> I still need to part it off um, and then figure out how I'm going to finish this top. And then maybe I'm going to make a little, I th might make a little base out of that piece of piece right there just so that I can have it stay upright. Um, so let's get this thing parted off and we will go from there, see where we go and how this thing is going to, how we're going to be able to finish this thing. So. All right, I'll sand that up. Same process as the egg. Same finishing process. I'm gonna put some CA on it, um, the axe abrasive paste, and then uh, Dr. Woodshop's Pens Plus. Um, and we'll be back when we start uh, to finish the bottom of that and the top of the egg. Well, there we go. It's all shined up with the same finish as the egg does. Now it's time to part it off and then we're gonna figure out how to finish up the side we can't spin on the lathe. Thank <laughs> you. 